Hello and welcome back to Suchitra's Biology. Today we are going to discuss about the blood and the blood cells. Okay. So let's start. Uh, blood. Blood is the extracellular matrix. Okay. It has alkaline pH of about 7.5. Four or seven point five, right? Slightly alkaline pH, slightly alkaline pH. Okay, and it is red in color. Red in color, in case of humans or mammals, right? Due to hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a red colored pigment, so the blood also is seen as red. Now, what are the components of blood? Is composed of what? Uh, the the uh, plasma and the uh, cellular components. Plasma or the non-cellular component. Blood is composed of blood plasma or non-cellular component and cellular component. Okay, cellular component means uh, this part comprises of the blood cells like WBCs, RBCs, etc. While the blood plasma does not contain any of this uh, blood cell, it is the liquid or the straw-colored fluid in which these cells are suspended. Okay, now uh, let's discuss this in detail. cellular and plasma now this plasma or the non cellular component is of 55% and the cellular component or the uh, cellular or the fragmented uh, component is of 45% okay now this cellular component comprises of rbcs wbcs and platelets rbcs or erythrocytes erythrocytes wbcs or uh, leukocytes and platelets are also called thrombocytes thrombocytes now the plasma plasma is composed of water some plasma proteins plasma proteins then some solutes gases hormones and nitrogenous waste nitrogenous wastes okay water is 90 to 92% plasma proteins is about 7% uh, this is about 1% okay. and these are uh, present in very um, low concentration. Nitrogenous waste like urea, ammonia, etc. Okay. Now, I will discuss each of these in detail. Before that, these plasma proteins are synthesized by liver. And plasma proteins are essential for uh, for maintaining the osmotic pressure and pH of blood. This is the role of the plasma proteins. There are three types of plasma proteins. Three types of plasma. Three types or the yeah three types of plasma proteins that are present in blood. First is uh, albumin, Min. second is globulin, and third one is fibrinogen. This albumin is uh, present in 54%, this is present, globulin is present in 38%, 
fibrinogen is present uh, in about 7%. Okay. Now, what is the role of these? Albumin maintains the osmotic pressure of blood. Globulin has function in defense mechanism. Defense mechanism. And fibrinogen has a role in clotting. Blood clotting. Okay. Whenever we get a hot, uh, that uh, wound gets uh, starts heal healing, right? It uh, starts healing. It occurs because to prevent the blood loss. Okay. So clotting is what? It is the uh, mechanism to uh, prevent the blood loss from the body. Okay. Now, this globulin is what? Globulin uh, is in defense mechanism. How? I will e explain it uh, in the next section. Okay. Albumin has role in osmotic uh, balancing the balancing the osmotic pressure of blood this is the most abundant albumin is the most important and the most abundant type of plasma protein these all are synthesized by liver now this was about the plasma and its component now the cellular fragment or the cellular components cellular components was of 45 percent and it had RBCs, WBCs and platelets. Now, first uh, let's discuss about RBC. RBC is biconcave in shape. Biconcave in shape has hemoglobin in it. Hemoglobin. Okay. Uh, it has lifespan of lifespan of 120 days and uh, uh, the rupture or the damaged rbcs are uh, destroyed in destroyed in spleen liver okay spleen is the is is most important uh, in the destruction of the ruptured rbc spleen is so known as the graveyard graveyard of rbcs Okay. Now, RBCs do not have the mature RBC. Mature RBC. There is no nucleus in it. No membrane bound organelles. Membrane bound organelles. There is no nuclei in a, a, a matured RBC. There are no membrane bound nucleus why is it so we know that rbc has a pigment a red colored pigment called hemoglobin in it and it has a, a role in oxygen transportation right it has station oxygen carrying capacity due to the pigment hemoglobin so why it does not have nucleus or membrane bound organ? Because it has to carry the oxygen. So, if these are not present, so more uh, space is available for the carrying of the oxygen. Right. So, this is the reason behind this. Okay. Do, uh, the nucleus and the membrane bound organelles are absent in RBC because to increase the surface area or to, to increase the space for the oxygen carrying. Okay, when a RBC has a nucleus, this is not mature RBC. Actually, when RBC is maturing at early stages, it has a nucleus, but the nucleus is then ejected, it is then removed. The nucleus is removed, okay, and then the mature RBC is formed. RBC are most abundant, most abundant among RBC, WBC and platelet, the most abundant, okay. The lifespan, uh, what is the 
रोल बिहाइंड द बाइकॉन की शेप ऑफ आर बी सी द बाइकॉन की शेप हेल्प्स टू इंक्रीज द सरफेस एरिया टू वॉल्यूम रेशियो ओके सो दैट इट कैन कैरी मोर ऑक्सीजन सो इट हेल्प्स इन इट्स इन ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ओके एंड ऑल्सो बाइकॉन के शेप डज नॉट द बाइकॉन के एज द आर बी सी इज इन हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन एक हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन द द सराउंडिंग अराउंड आर बी सी इज हाइपोटोनिक सो सो दैट द बाइकॉन के शेप हेल्प्स इन स्वेलिंग एंड प्रिवेंट्स बर्स्टिंग ओके इट फर्स्ट स्वेल्स अप सो दिस इज द रीजन वाई द आर बी सी आर इन बाइकॉन के शेप ना लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द डब्ल्यू बी सीज डब्ल्यू बी सीज और द ल्यूकोसाइड्स फर्दर द डब्ल्यू बी सी और द ल्यूकोसाइड्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू ग्रैन्यूलर ग्रैन्यूलर एंड ए ग्रैन्यूलर ए ग्रैन्यूलर डब्ल्यू बी सीज एंड ग्रैन्यूलर डब्ल्यू बी सी don't think that the a granular wbcs do not have granules it is not so these are known as a granular wbcs because after staining the granules are not visible actually the granules are present but after staining the granules are not observed under the microscope and in granular wbcs after staining the granules are clearly visible under the microscope so they are named as granular wbc Now, okay, so I was explaining that the granular WBCs are further differentiated into uh, neutrophils, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Okay, neutrophils are most abundant among the WBCs. Around sixty to sixty-five percent. Okay, and basophils are the least abundant. Uh, remember this point okay it is often asked in many of the exams which one is the most abundant wbc uh, and which is the least abundant type of the wbc so basophil is the least abundant type of wbc least abundant okay uh, around 0.5 to 1% only and it is most abundant neutrophils 60 to 65% it is the intermediate one okay neutrophils Eosinophil and basophil. Basophils are uh, stain with the basic dyes. Okay, basic dyes and stains blue. Okay. While eosinophil stains with um, acidic dye, acidic dye, and appears uh, red orange. Acidic dye like eosin and basic dyes and stains blue. When neutrophils are stained with the neutral dyes and appears pink. Appears pink. Fine. Now let me uh, discuss about their role. Okay. what are their importance neutrophils are phagocytic phagocytic in nature okay and uh, this eosinophil and neutrophils are the first uh, type of cells that reach at the site of infection or whatever okay these are the first type of cells uh, that uh, arrive at the site of infection or the swelling okay basophils have granules that have heparin and 
हेपारिन एंड हिस्टाम दे सीक्रेट हेपारिन एंड हिस्टाम हिस्टाम हेज रोल इन एलर्जिक रिएक्शन एंड हेपारिन इज एन एंटी कोग्रेंट एंटी कोग्युलेंट योसिनोफिल्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन एलर्जिक reactions like asthma hay fever okay and also in parasitic infections parasitic infections like uh, worms when worms are present okay so these are the roles of the neutrophil eosinophil and the basophils neutrophils are also known as pmns polymorpho polymorpho nuclear okay pmns because they are multi lobed 2 to 5 lobed okay many lobes so polymorpho nuclear uh, leukocytes they are also known as that okay and these are the phagocytic ones among the wbc and if it is asked which type of rbc is involved in allergic uh, reactions and parasitic infections then uh, the answer is eosinophils okay now let's discuss about the a granular a granular wbc the a granular wbc is constitute of Mm. monocytes monocytes and lymphocytes monocytes and lymphocytes lymphocytes is further categorized into uh, b lymphocytes b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes okay monocytes have a uh, horse shoe shaped nucleus they have they uh, they are present monocytes are present in blood but when they enter the tissues they differentiate into macrophage okay differentiate differentiate into macrophages in tissues okay monocytes are present in blood but when they enter the tissues they differentiate into macrophages and macrophages are phagocytic cells phagocytic cells just like neutrophils okay and it has a, a single nucleus also okay monocytes now lymphocytes lymphocyte b and t lymphocyte b lymphocytes or b cells produce anti bodies and t lymphocytes do not produce anti bodies uh, but uh, help b cells to synthesize anti bodies uh, they synthesize anti bodies and anti bodies are made of globulins right so these have role in defense mechanism i was explaining that um in the previous slides i was explaining about the plasma protein globulin right so they have a role in defense this is these antibodies are made of what globulins right these are globulins and so they have uh, uh, they act in defense mechanism to protect the body from the certain infections or certain antigens okay specific antibodies are synthesized by the b cells or the plasma cells in the body uh, okay uh, for the different uh, uh, specific antigens okay t lymphocytes secrete cytokines cytokines uh, and activate b cells and other cells okay T cells do not produce antibody, but they help to activate the B cells. Once the B cells are activated, they produce the specific antibodies against the specific 
एंटीजन फाइन डब्ल्यू बी सीज हैव अ शॉर्ट लाइफ स्पैन एंड आर लीस्ट न्यूमरस लीस्ट न्यूमरस अमंग आर बी सी डब्ल्यू बी सी एंड प्लेटलेट्स ओके अराउंड फाइव थाउजेंड टू टेन थाउजेंड पर मिली मीटर क्यूब ऑफ ब्लड ओके इट इज लीस्ट न्यूमरस Now let's discuss about the platelets. Platelets or the thrombocytes. Platelets are basically cell fragments. They are not complete cells like RBC and WBC. They are cell fragments. Cell fragments of mega karyocytes. Mega karyocytes. Karyo sites okay these mega karyocyte is a large cell okay now this breaks into small small fragments known as platelet these are platelets and this is throm mega karyocyte fine one mega karyocyte can give rise to one mega karyocyte can give rise to 1000 platelets okay platelets have role in clotting blood clotting they stop the blood loss by uh, secreting serotonin serotonin these platelets secrete serotonin serotonin has role in vasoconstriction vaso cons uh, triction what is vasoconstriction it is the constriction of the blood vessel suppose it is a blood vessel okay and if it is damaged this is damaged or ruptured then if it is a large blood vessel more blood will uh, be lost right but if we constrict or narrow the blood vessel lower the diameter then less blood will be will be lost right so serotonin is secreted by the platelets or the thrombocytes and uh, it has role in vasoconstriction so it helps to prevent the blood loss platelets are uh, found in a uh, number about 1 lakh 50 thousand to 4 lakh mm cube of blood okay so this was all about the blood and the components of the blood the cellular and the non cellular components okay what is the uh, basic function now let me just tell basic function of of blood first is transportation second is regulation third is protection how transportation of gases right blood is uh blood helps in transportation of gases or the uh, nutrients or the hormones oxygen right etc regulation of ph temperature etc protection is through globulins right protection against the antigen so these are the ma basic major functions of the blood so this was all about today's video hope you like the video do like share and subscribe my channel thank you